I love to talk. We talk. <laughs> Welcome back, you guys. Ready, honey? Yeah, you ready? I'm Welcome ready. back, you guys, to uh, Real Talk with Nano. I am so happy to be here with you guys. Okay, so today, you guys, I made some homemade uh, sweet potato, 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 potato pie. Sweet potato, sweet potato biscuits. Biscuit. <laughs> some sausage and cabbage, some baked chicken with my special seasoning, and some rice. Clifton's gonna pray. Pray. Go ahead. Yeah, let's pray, guys. Okay. Dear Lord, thank you for the food. Thank you, God, for answers provided. And thank you, God, that we do store about it, oh God. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Bless the Lord. Okay. So, let me get my food first. Let me get the talk. biscuit. Um, call, what do you call it? It's, it's, uh, uh, uh oh, I, I sweet potato biscuit. Sweet potato biscuit. Sweet potato biscuit. It looked like um look like cornbread? It looked like um not cornbread. Uh some like uh, banana uh, bread. Oh. No. This is <laughs> What? Say something. It's good. <laughs> It's not, it's not biscuit, no. It's, it's a there. biscuit. It's pumpkin. It's sweet potato. It tastes like a sweet oh, potato. Sweet potato. It's, it tastes like oh, yeah. a sweet it's potato sweet pie. Banana. Yeah. 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 Oh, my God. <laughs> I would call it sweet potato pudding. It's like a sweet potato like pie. Mm -mm. It's like pudding, no. Pudding. You see mm -hmm. the chunks of sweet potatoes in there? Mm-hmm. Mm -mm. Anyways, you guys, um, I want to talk about something. Okay, I can't remember the uh, the person that said something on one of my last videos because what I'm what I'm starting to do is um, like when I get certain comments on on, on, on my videos and mm -hmm. it, you know some you know the comments or whatever some of the comments finish. really you know really you know do something to me you know and I said that what I was going to start doing. I said that I was gonna start coming on here giving shout outs, regardless if it's a positive if, if it's the positive shout outs or mm -hmm. the negative shout outs. Okay. I don't remember the person's name, you know what I'm saying? But I'm gonna this this is what the video is about. Okay, so I had got um the last time me and Donisha didn't did a video, um Donisha has said that, you know, Elijah's, you know, he's homeschooled or whatever. Okay. Mm -hmm. Somebody had to come in and with a rebuttal and said the reason why Donisha um, is homeschooling says that her daughter goes to school, but Elijah doesn't go to school. He's homeschooled because Donisha is trying to keep him away from the kids. And I had made a comment like, mm -mm. that's not true. Elijah <laughs> interacts with children. Yes, he do. And I said something about, uh, I said something about, Nowadays, schools are demonic. I mean, schools are teaching kids. They're not teaching kids the right way. The things that's supposed to be going, that they supposed to do. Okay, so mm -hmm. it's not that she's keeping him from children. She's not keeping him from children. And see, what I'm going to talk about today, it has, it has nothing to do with kids. And I see why. You can't even trust your kids going to school. You got somebody in the school trying to hurt them. Okay, and then you, and then if, if your kids is, is not old enough to go to school, you have a kids in daycare mm -hmm. that they're trying to hurt them. So okay, so with that being said, let me get my piece of chicken, and then I'll go ahead and get get down. Yeah, there's a lot of down with the nitty, get down with the nitty gritty. Mm-hmm. Get the chicken now. Okay, so the first it's gonna be two topics. So the two that so the first topic. Okay, when 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 a person had that made that comment about school, okay, this the, the first topic is from mm -hmm. uh, Tampa Bay. The guy name is uh, uh, Jarvis Young. He worked it's in the, um, he worked he worked in the school. He worked in the school. He worked he was in this in the uh, um, in the uh, with the sports and stuff like that. He worked there. Okay, he did something terrible. Mm -hmm. To a 16 year old now. To a 16? A 16 year old 
Boy. Some rice. Mm. He did some horrible things to a six-year-old boy. Sixteen-year-old boy. Mm. Now he's supposed to be in the school, right? School is supposed to be a place where you send your children, right? Mm -hmm. School is supposed to be uh, when the, when the parents of them is out working and everything. They could, it, the school is supposed to be a safe haven where you take your children, right? Yeah. Not in this case. So. So the what, 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 the, the, the little boy with the little boy did. Mm. This is in um. This is in Tampa Bay. Florida. Yes. This was in Tampa Bay. Okay. So he, but the thing about it is, he been doing this for a long time. He got accused of doing it. He got he got accused of doing it or whatever, but they couldn't really do anything to him because uh, statue 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 of limitation uh, ended. My thing is, if if why is why is it that they always want to have statute of limitation? I feel like if you commit a crime against a child, you commit a crime against against anybody, mm -hmm. a statute of limitation it ends. Why do why mm -hmm. those statute of limitation ends when you go get a well, parking ticket and it'd be two or three years down the road and do you go and try to get your license but you mm -hmm. still got that parking ticket on your on your record? Mm -hmm. Why is that? Statue of limitation didn't 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 expire for that, mm -mm. but but mm -hmm. uh, statue of limitation expired when somebody go and commit a, a terrible crime against somebody and against a child. Oh, and that ain't the, that that is not the kicker. I'm quite sure you guys probably heard about him everything. Mm -mm. The little boy, he was a he was a coach. The little boy went to sixteen year old boy went to the coach and asked the coach said um, my my body my joints is hurting and everything and I want to know what can I do to get in shape or whatever. Mm -hmm. He said okay. So he took the little boy. He came to the boy, boy's house. Took the little boy. They went out. To, they went out to eat. He went to the pick the little boy up at the house during the weekend. When he picked the little boy at the house, took him out. Took him to lunch. Mm -hmm. Then after he took him to lunch. He said, "Oh, I got some, I got some, some, um, some, some sports equipment for you." So he said, "Go back to school with him." So he went to school, got the school equipment and everything. I'm not making this up. On the weekend. Yes. Went mm -hmm. to school. <clears throat> got you no. Know, this is during the school. Okay. When he came and got him, he asked him about that at the school. Then the weekend, oh. he went and picked the little boy up. Okay. And then I went and he and went and got the equipment and everything. He said, I need you to help me put this equipment together. So he thought it's open. Oh, he was gonna get the little boy this give, give the six year old this equipment, right? Mm hmm So after he gave the little boy the little equipment or whatever, he said, Oh, I forgot something to drive back to the school with me. Mm. So he went back to the school. And then that's what he did, whatever he did to him. Oh, and then he turned around and said, Oh, I'm I'm a physical therapist. I can help you get your kinks out your legs and everything to stop you from being your muscles hurting and everything. He violated his little boy. And so he called his mom and so his mom then the mom said, no, you need to call the school. You need to go back to school and get, do a complaint. No, you don't need to call the complaint to tell the school. If you calling me and let me know that's what's going on, I'm going to the school. The mom said what? The mama told him to go back to the school and tell them what happened. No, I'm, I, you know, I need to, don't you tell me what's going on. I'm going to the school mm -mm. my damn self. No, no, mama, she would say that. Mm -mm. She told him to go back to the school mm -mm. and make a complaint. Mm -mm. He's been doing it for a long time. Mm -mm. For a long time. He's been doing this type of stuff for a long time, but the statute of limitation ended, so they couldn't charge him for nothing. But he was still in the school system. Why is this man still in the dog school system? Oh, and this is the kicker. Mm -mm. He, he confessed that he had the deadliest disease in the world that So, mm -mm. they got him in jail for that. He finally in jail. He finally? Yes. He's in jail for that. Good. Mom. So, my thing is, school ain't safe. I don't care what nobody say. You can mm -hmm. say whatever you mm -hmm. want to say. School ain't safe. Yeah. Homeschool is better. 
Now, I understand a lot of people say, oh, well, homeschool's not better because they feel old. The parents ain't going to do nothing. The parents, the kids is going to be at home just sitting there playing games all day. And the kid and, mm -hmm. the, parent, and the parent ain't doing nothing. But guess what? Not That's not the case over here. Because my daughter, she'd be, she be right there in the classroom with my grandson. Right there. Right there. Mm -hmm. And then another thing. You can't, your kids ain't safe at school, and your kids is not safe in the daycare either. And that is sad, because there's a lot of parents that have to work. Due to the pandemic, 2019, it had hurt, it had hurt a lot of people. Yeah. Everything shut down. Mm -hmm. Everything went crazy. What do they do? So, they really can, you really can't trust nobody, so you have to take their word. Mm-hmm. Mm -mm. So, this next subject was in North, New York Bronx. A Real? daycare. Four kids in the daycare got a hold to some fentanyl. Mm -mm. One year old mm -hmm. baby passed away through fentanyl. In the daycare now. This is in Bronx, New York. So all comes at reaching there. Huh? All comes at reaching there. How come the what? All comes at reaching there. How come they fitting all down there? Mm -hmm. Because the daycare people were selling it. They had three, they, the week before, the week before this even happened, this happened last week. So the week before that. Mm. The state had to come in to renew the, uh, for the, the person, you know, license to come in and everything and renew your license or whatever to make sure that you fit to continue to, to, to have your daycare. But they yeah. went on and passed them to have the daycare. Mm -hmm. And when this all happened, they went up in there and they found three press, fitting out presses. Mm -hmm. They found a kilo of... I ain't gonna say allegedly because it's all over social media and everything, so I ain't gonna say allegedly about nothing because it's the truth. Anyways, um, I'm uh, I'm mad. So they um so they found a kilo up underneath the kids' mat when they really play and they wait when they play and sleep. But one thing is about fentanyl, it seeps out. You could just touch anything and, and do your nose like this or whatever. You gonna get you gonna get a contact of it. Mm -hmm. So basically, it's almost airborne. Mm -hmm. You could be in a house, you know, and a person could be selling or whatever, mm -hmm. and you just walk in the house, and all of a sudden you just get dizzy and pass out because oh. it's it, you know it's, it's just that potent. The air could blow. Wow. You know what I'm saying? And see, it's in the summertime. Yeah. Okay, so they could probably have air conditioner on. Fan on, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Kids laying on the mat and the blow and the, and the, and the fan is blowing. So it's going to blow that, that mist mm -hmm. in the air. So mm -hmm. four kids got hospitalized. Because mm -hmm. one lady, she said she took her son home and she uh, she, she said that he was looking lethargic. Mm -hmm. So she took him home and then she, she he was trying to fall asleep or whatever. So she took him straight to the hospital. Mm -hmm. And they tested him and they saved him and gave him a knock hand. They gave him like, you know, you know, like the stuff that you, like if you got allergies, rib allergy, and they give you a shot for yeah. your can or whatever, or they mm -hmm. put something up in your nose. That's what they did. So she saved her son. So uh, three oh of them say, were saved, but the one-year-old, he was not. Oh, my God. And she didn't even, she didn't even, she took, she called, they, they felt that she called three other. Mm-mm. She found out that they found out that she called before she even called um before she even called the um before she even called the um the hospital 911 mm -hmm. she called her husband who the the, the daycare lady she called her husband you know what he did they had him on call him. he came in the house and he came they said that he came out the house with two big bags of kilos of the fentanyl. So he was trying to get rid the of it, her husband. Because her husband wasn't there when the kids passed out, passed away. Oh, so, so he came to the house to clear out everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they looking for him. He on the run. But they got her and her, her, and her brother in law. They Mexican. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh. 
not to, you know, crime is crime. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They all need to be, be in jail, right? But that dude that did that to the kid, mm -hmm. he ain't got no bail, which he don't need no bail. Mm -mm. But the two Mexicans, they got a bail. They out on bail. Why? Ooh. The one that put it there. They out on bail. They had it. They were selling drugs out of their apartment. A daycare center. And they out on bail. They out on bail. Why? Why are you gonna let them out on bail, knowing they're going well? They bailing out on the money that they made from drugs. Why you let them out on bail? Cause they pay for the bail bond. They let them out on bail, but the 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 teacher they did whatever he did to that little boy. He ain't got no bail. Man, it's crazy. Uh, he was black. They was with this nasty stuff. You know what? They need to, when you go to jail, you know, but that's okay, because when he go to jail, guess what? All, 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 that, all that he wanted to do to these babies, guess what? He going to get it all back. The baby not died. The baby did die. The one-year-old. Yeah, so the parent don't press charges. Yeah, they press charges. This the, the police press the charges. The, the police, the police charge press charges. Mm -hmm. But they 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 post a bail, a twenty some thousand dollar bail, and they let them out. But I'm just saying, why do you need a bail? For some thousand, really? So they can flee. You know, but they got the other man, the 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 the, the, the coach. He don't got no bail. Mm -mm. My thing is, mm -mm. that's unfair. Listen, when I had my daycare in two thousand, and all I did, I had my daycare for three months. All I did was. Left my, I had custody of my nephew. He was nine months old. He was sick or whatever. He, he had a cold, his teeth and everything. So I went and took my, I went and took my daycare kids, walked my daycare kids to school. And so my kid's dad, he had a felony, right? So he could, they said the only way he could be around my nephew, we got all the other kids were older, but so they were, they were concerned about this baby that was nine months So. Mm -hmm. Which was his, his sister's kid. I had custody of his sister's uh, child. And I had custody of her other two kids too. Twin girls. I had him. Mm -hmm. when I got him when he was a week old. And I got them when they were four months old. Mm -hmm. You know. So they, they, were, they were. I think they were like. They were like five years old. He was like what, a week old or whatever. So they weren't worried about them. They were worried about this baby. That was nine months old. Which I get it. Yeah. Okay. So. They told me. That. When it was time for us to do, you know, try to get him or whatever, they wouldn't give it to him because they had a felony, but they gave him to me. Okay, so when they gave him to me, I started daycare. And so they, they said, well, he can't be around him unattended without you. Which I get it. But this particular time, I had to go to take these kids to school and when nobody else there. He was there at the home. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I took the kids at school, came back. This was during the time when the license was coming to renew my license or whatever. So she came to the house or whatever, and you know, and you know, and Baby. she came in the house. We sitting down, we doing our little, doing a little uh, 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 workout thing, whatever, do a little assignment or whatever, you know. And so um, she was like, um, "Where's Adrian?" And I was like, "Oh, oh, oh, he's upstairs." So she looking like, "Okay, he's upstairs, and ain't nobody up in here." So. We, everything's fine. So we doing whatever we do, whatever. She gets, she leaves the dog on my dog on plate. She go back to the dog office. She make a report and say, I left him in the house by herself. I didn't leave him in the house by herself. He was what in the house, he was in the house with, he was in the house with Donnie's and him dad. So I, you know, I feel like I said, well, if I tell them that, they gonna, but they ended up shutting my daycare down anyways. They found because out that he was there and he was there with, with, with the kid. They, he found, they found out all that. So I only had my daycare open for three months and they called me and they told me within 24 hours, shut it down. Hmm. And then after they shut it down, they told me I could never 
operate a daycare again. All because of that. With no crime, no more, no crime committed or nothing. Sure. Wow. And so after that, that's when I started doing my daycare. I'm doing yeah. my uh, my cleaning service. Wow. Yeah. So for the for for the daycare to go up in that place and and, and renew their doggone um renew their doggone um yes. license or whatever. No, they knew. D them doggone fitting no presses is huge. They look like a doggone um like a doggone exercise machine. They had three of them. Oh my god. Where they press the pills. They had three of them and I didn't ever shut it down. Um, they gave them, they, they shut mine down, but they they gave them their license. They renewed their license. They, they don't shut them down? No, they knew them people was doing that. That stuff was staged. They knew, they knew that dog on thing. They got something to do with some government stuff, but that's on a whole nother video. They know what them people were doing in the Bronx. Yeah. Lord bless that baby. You know, you know, my heart go out to that baby. Parents is going to work and everything, thinking that they 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 got they they could take their baby somewhere and their baby can be safe. And then you send your kids your, your children to school and you thinking your kids gonna be at school be safe. You can't you can't trust no dog on body. So mm -hmm. any listen, if you listen, I understand people got to work and everything, and I know you have to do to do what you gotta do, but listen, I feel like this. There should be a group that started like young mothers. To have babies, and if they're friends and they working, they working on the same job, mm -hmm. or even if they're not working on the same job, build something to where, you know, where you can build like a community or something to where, okay, I work, you work, you work, you work, you work, you work. Okay, we build our schedule around everybody. Okay, I work today, you off to you you I'm off I'm work today, you off today. Okay, you watch my kid. Okay. Okay, you off tomorrow, you work tomorrow. It's not gonna you work watch that way, my, never. but that's that's how it should be. It's you build right, a career. Everybody but you want, said, everybody but you, want to do their own thing. No, but I'm saying, they, but it would it would keep your children safe. Yeah, but nobody wants to wanna take up that responsibility every day get there. But the thing about it, if they need but they need daycare. I need daycare. Yeah. So why we can't why why we can alternate together to where we won't have to pay nobody? And not only that, we gonna trust we we can trust each other. We're not gonna hurt each other's kids. That way our kids be safe. So if you got to work, I'm off, I watch your kid. And when if I have to work, you off, you watch my kid. Why they can't go like that? Some people might dream it, but not everybody. You know? That's what we need to start. We need to start a community like that because our children have to be safe. And it's not the kids. You know, just like my subscriber said, oh, uh, uh, Donisha house homeschool launcher because she want to keep them away from the kids. No, it ain't what she want to keep them away from the kids. The kids ain't the problem. It's damn adults in the doggone fertility. Yeah. Your kids ain't safe no doggone where. Mm -hmm. You can't even let them go outside and play with nobody. You know who, who, who it ain't the kids. It's the <laughs> damn adults. You don't school. No. You don't know. You know, don't know those people background. No. Nothing about them. Yeah. She, she, he stopped. He, when, they, when the pandemic shut down, when the kids couldn't go to school, she homeschooled him. Mm -hmm. And when was that? 2019? Mm-hmm. From that he time. Went, he ain't went to school <clears throat> no more since then. And it's a good thing. Because it's one thing his, his mama, she's in his business. And she be right there with the with the teacher on the computer. So that don't get it mm -hmm. don't get it twisted. Whoever yeah. made the comment, I don't remember your name, but you better be glad I don't remember your name. But anyways, no, my my daughter, she be right there, honey, because she got a master's, so she all that. So she be there with her kids. She's a very good parent. And so and before you get the bump of your gums and act like you know everything, you don't. Because she's right there with her kids. Mm -hmm. Because she's keeping her kids safe. Yeah. She ain't all at the club trying to shake her, 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 shake her tail feather. She ain't doing none of that. She's a mother. She's a teacher. She's a preacher. <laughs> all that. A lawyer, if you want her to be. <laughs> <laughs> she will be all that and some. Really? <clears throat> My thing is, you guys, be safe. Keep these kids safe because, listen, kids are the future. Mm -hmm. And if there's, if there's no kids, there's no us. Mm -hmm. 
Because we need kids in our life to make us feel, make us feel, you know, make us, you know, feel like we 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 mean something. And you're doing other guys doing something good, you know? Right. You need you need children. And so these female these females <laughs> get out here and say, Oh, I'm bad, I ain't got no kids. I need, no, you need kids. Because if you ain't got the kids, if you listen, kids give you structure. You think they don't. Mm -hmm. They give you structure. They give you responsibility. But people, they, they, they think that kids are a burden. Kids ain't no burden. Kids, a lot, I'm quite sure a lot of you women out there, if y'all didn't have no kids, y'all be dead right now. Because we just believe, honey, kids do save your life. Mm -hmm. They do save your life. Stop you get, from doing a lot they of stuff. stop you from doing a lot of things and they stop you from getting into trouble. You know? Mm -hmm. Because a lot of these men, they don't care. They get you pumped up pregnant. They go about their doggone business, go to the next. But a lot of females, they don't care. They be like, oh, well, okay, well, they did get, you know, and then they get hooked up with somebody else. And then the, and then the child that they got for somebody else, that, that child gets all of the abuse. They get pregnant by the dude that they with, and then they just abandon the one that they, they had previously. And you know why? It's because they don't like their daddy no more. Mm -hmm. He don't pay child support. You don't come do nothing no more. So, oh, well, all right, just, just go ahead and get rid of the baby. And this thing you'll get about, I don't mean I don't mean to go off the subject, but all I'm saying is we need to protect our children because the children is the future. Because if it ain't no children, they ain't no you. Mm -mm. And that's all I'm saying. Now, I already know I'm going to get some backlash. I already know I'm going to get some stuff like, like uh, I'm, I'm going to say her name again, Margaret White. Come on here and say, oh, every time I hear, every time I hear Nana talk, she don't make no sense. Then let it be that then. You ain't got to look at it. You unsubscribe. <laughs> oh, man. But all I'm saying, you guys, I yeah. love you guys so, so very much. And I will see you guys on the next video. And leave a comment next week when I do this. What is it? Saturday? Either Thursday or Saturday, I'm going to do another video, you guys. Okay. And I'm going to give some shout outs. Yeah. To my people that have been there with me from day one. Bonnie Jill, I love you, girl, because she's always in the comment section. I yeah. love you, girl. And there's a, a, a lot of other ones I, I don't remember. But guess what? I got you guys. I yep. love you guys, so and I'll see you guys on the next video. Yeah, it was good, guys. Okay, And I, I hope you guys thing. like another video. <laughs> Subscribe and comment. This was yeah. good, y'all. <laughs> I say, yeah, Nana, you were right. True work. Yeah, so stay blessed, stay safe, everybody, and continue. Yes. Watch your kids, continue, take care of your kids. Yes. And, you know, make sure everything's okay. They all we got. Yeah. They're all we got. All right.